If you like going off grid, and I mean properly off grid, well then, you want one of these. This is fantastic. Check this out. This is a Heimer Venture S. It's based on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. It's 190 horsepower and it's four wheel drive. But beyond that, it's got these really chunky tires. It's got this amazing ground clearance and it is a proper adventure machine. It's 6.45 meters long. It's weighing in at 4,100 kilograms. So you want a C1 license for this. But yeah, a real adventure machine, this one. I'm going to give you a full tour of this. It's a well worth seeing. We're going to start right at the very front because we've got things like the light bar across here for some serious night vision. You can see the pop top. We'll see that better on the inside, of course. But I want to come right back to show you. You can just see right on the top, solar panels across the top. This apparently will run for up to 10 days completely off grid. Just brilliant. OK, we'll have a wander around the outside. Love this colour scheme, this sort of beautiful green colour with the yellow pinstripe along it. That's really, really smart. This one back here is your shower and also a little locker down there for, I don't know, your muddy boots and that sort of thing you want to keep outside. 240 volt power, if you've got it, goes in there. As I mentioned, it doesn't need it. But where it gets really interesting, I think, is around the back. Look at this. So basically, this opens up. Top one opens first, that way, and then this folds down, basically gives you a viewing stage on the back of the vehicle. I'll show you that a bit better from the inside. But you've also got a ladder that extends out. It actually telescopes back inside there, so it's always there, ready to go. But yeah, that is a substantial vehicle, isn't it? Very, very smart indeed. Cassette for the toilet is in this one here. And then the access, of course, is just here. How cool is that? OK, let's head inside. <laughs> Look at this stairway going up. We'll go up there, of course, in a moment. But we'll start at the front and we'll work our way back. So we've got the twin seats here that swivel, as you can see. I mentioned it's Mercedes. So we've got the Mercedes multifunction steering wheel. We've got the MBUX navigation system here. We've got the climate control as well. So all the usual luxuries that you would expect on the Mercedes-Benz. These are um, blinds that come out of the side here like this. So you've got total privacy. You've got the same thing, of course, on the side. And then what's quite nice is this little storage area up above, which is these fellows here you can take out, put all your, your clobber in. That's quite helpful. What else have we got at this end? This is more bits of storage. And this is really interesting because this is a desk. So this folds out of here, comes down, and that gives you a nice little area. But for a digital nomad, that is a perfect place to do a bit of work, keep your online business rolling, <laughs> whatever it is that you want to do. If we come on around then, we've got the control screen for the vehicle here. There we go. So that's taking us into all sorts of functions. Um, you can also see uh, vehicle battery, main battery, fresh water, grey water. Everything is monitored from there. One of the things that you can control from here is the roof. Now, the interesting thing about this roof, and we'll have a look at that next, I think, is if we go up these stairs, we will discover that this has got air curtains. So this is driven up into place with a compressor. How great is that? So it's really nicely sealed. Also, although you might not think it, looking at this pale colour, it is actually properly light insulated. So you haven't got to worry about that being bright in the morning. And the reason there's a zip section there is you can open that and then there's a fly screen behind it. So if you want this open to the elements, then you can have it. And of course, the bed here as well. And I think I'm right in saying that is an air bed, so you can adjust that also. And then right up at the front, we've got light switches, USB sockets, all that kind of stuff is right here. But yeah, these are the tubes that inflate this. So it just powers up and we've got an opening skylight there as well. And as I mentioned, solar panels up on the top. But <laughs> that is really, really cool, isn't it? OK, let's come down from there. There's a lot of cool things about this vehicle, actually. I'm going to show you another one now, and that is over here. Now, of course, it's based on a van, so the space is fairly limited because you want to keep the vehicle as compact as possible. If you're going adventuring, you don't want a great big, wide, lumbering thing. So the challenge is space. 
And this is a perfect solution to that challenge. You've got the toilet compartment in here, and you've got um, obviously the sink and the loo. That's all great. Not a lot of room for a shower though, mm. but there is because what you can do with this is you can close that. And then this one here, if I can operate this with one hand, <laughs> hang on, let's hold onto that there. There we go. Allows this to pull out like that. And then you've got a much bigger compartment there, but there's more because the next thing we can do then is we can release that one. And now, look at that, we've got a proper shower compartment. How brilliant is that? And look at this lovely slate coloured and textured material that they've got on the walls. Obviously, it's not real slate, you wouldn't want the weight of it, but it does look absolutely fantastic. And it does give you a really, really big shower compartment. That is fantastic. Let's put that back. So that goes back across there and we're back to just a toilet compartment. And then that whole section there slides away. Now obviously, that wouldn't work as a shower then does give you a perfectly good toilet, however, and it does give you really good size through here. So it's really doubling up on that space. You can see here where it comes to. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? What else can I show you? Well, over here, this is interesting because this panel will come out and then you can use this drawer here and it drops into there and that then makes that into an extended work surface. Obviously, this is also giving us storage here storage here storage here so a lot of storage within the vehicle and all of these clip shut like this so they're not rolling around when you're driving that one does the same and that one's for your cutlery and that one oops <laughs> was already open there we go is the fridge We've got the gas hob on this one, and then we've got the sink here. Love the way that this comes out like this. This is great. Um, obviously, the sink is down underneath there. Don't want to mess up the display too much. This is interesting. All of these little chaps here and here are all designed to fit within these louvered sections. So they just pop in there like that, and you can get little accessories like these plant pot holders. <laughs> Look at that. They're all designed to fit within there like that. That's great. Another one there. So you can put those wherever you see fit. Let's put that back properly. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that great? And then up here, a bit more storage. Love the way they've illuminated inside some of these as well. That's very, very smart. Come right on back then. We've got obviously the windows at the back here. And then this is interesting. This is a lounge area here. This table will fold up so you can make this much larger, but you can also fold that leaf down so you end up with just this section. And then the whole thing drops, you can see how the base is on tracks, and with it in its lowest position, it will slide underneath that one and move completely out of the way. You can also convert that into a single bed. Now, of course, you've got the two beds up on top, and it's really a two person vehicle because you've only got the two seats with seat belts. If you've had a row <laughs> or with, with a mate you don't want to sleep with you've got two separate sleeping zones within the vehicle and that is a really nice again when you consider the size of the vehicle this is more storage here it's a hanging rail again all beautifully lit and that one is storage that comes out across there i love these little tabs that they have on here that's really nice and then this one here is a light that you can move around. You can take that out and you could, if you, for example, wanted to hang it from here and have it dangling down here, you can unplug it, you can take it to the front, you can take it upstairs, you can move that wherever you like. That's really helpful. And then finally, we saw this from the outside, but it's even more dramatic from the inside. This whole back end here completely opens and what it gives you is a viewing deck. So you can come out here. You can get like a little windbreak that comes around here apparently as well if you want to. But how cool is this to be able to come out <laughs> onto your own private deck and survey the savannah? That's fantastic. Another thing you can do with this actually is this one, of course, hinges up 
like that to about here. And then this one, as you can see, hinges up that way. You can just open that one if you want to. And then there's a fly screen that comes down here. So if you're somewhere where there's lots of midges and things, well, then you can leave the bottom one closed and have the top one open, but also still be able to protect the interior. That, I think you'll agree, is a pretty amazing machine. And I love the colour scheme as well. It's so nice, isn't it? It's so warm and welcoming. That's brilliant. Really, really pleased to see that one and really glad to bring it to you guys. Let's have a wander back through here. I take a seat in this very comfortable looking seat up at the front. Oh, I forgot to mention one more thing, <laughs> which is apparently you can get a projector that goes over here and a screen that goes over here. So if you want to be able to watch a movie, then you can do. <laughs> How neat is that? absolutely brilliant right let's park myself here let's say massive thanks to the south downs motorhome center they've organized this tour for us huge thanks to you guys for watching it but i'm really intrigued to hear what you think of this one because i think that is quite an impressive piece of kit and i will look forward very much to catching you on one of these real soon you take care bye bye <laughs>